So rather surprisingly, multiplication of fractions turns out to be a little bit more difficult conceptually than the division of fractions. And part of that is we actually have two ways of looking at division. We can either view it at quotatively or partitively. With multiplication, we only have one good way of looking at it, which is as a repeated addition, which is fine if we're doing a whole number multiple. But if we're doing a fractional multiple, it's a little bit more complicated. So let's start off with the easy problems first. Let's find the product 5 times 2 thirds. And so by our definition of multiplication, what that means is we're going to take five things, each of which are two-thirds. So we're going to produce a piece of size two-thirds. So we can take a bar, divide it into three equal parts, and I'm going to take two of those. And so this represents two-thirds, and I want five of those all together. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and this forms my product. Now, how big is that product? The thing to keep in mind is that three of these rectangles made up our one unit. So what I can do is I can count holes by finding sets of three rectangles. So here we go, one, two, three, and there's one third left over. And so I can write my result as a mixed number. Five times two thirds, one, two, three, and one third left over, and there's my product three, and a third. Now unfortunately this doesn't work if we multiply a fraction by a fraction, consider something like two-fifths times three-quarters, and we don't have any good way of taking two-fifths, three-quarters, and adding them together. It's kind of hard to wrap our minds around what that is, so let's uh, take the problem apart. So first off, this two-fifths, if we think about what that looks like, this is the same as two times a fifth. It's a fifth and a fifth, that's a repeated addition, so it translates into a multiplication. Again, if you think about where our fractions and rational numbers came from, this one-fifth itself comes from a quotient one divided by five. So this product, two-fifths times three-quarters, I can view this as two times one divided by five times three-quarters. And because I can do my division and multiplication in any order that I want to, I'll rearrange things a little bit. I'll do the two times one because I can. And then the divide by 5 I'll relegate to after the 3 quarters. So this product 2 fifths times 3 quarters is the same as 2 times 3 quarters divided by 5. And what that suggests is I might take the 3 quarters, divide it into 5 pieces, and then take 2 of the pieces that I produce. So let's take a look at that. So we'll get our three quarters first, so we'll take a bar, we're going to divide it into four parts. I'm going to take three of the four parts, and there's my area representing three quarters. Now to do the multiplication by two fifths, I want to divide this into five equal pieces, there we go, and I'm going to take, so here's my one, two, three, four, five equal pieces, and I want to take two of those equal pieces. So there's my two pieces that I'm going to take. Again, here's one piece, is this entire thing, there's a second piece, and so I'm going to take those two pieces and I'll just count. I have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces out of a total of 20. And so my product, two-fifths times three-quarters, is going to be six out of 20, six over 20, and I could reduce this to the proper reduced value, three out of 10. However, we're not going to do that right at this point.